Well, I'm just having a Saturday night quick running session. And I've been ill, I've been off, off work, I've been ill in bed. But I've managed to edit a few videos while I was ill in bed. And they're the ones of the uh, model railway exhibition. Well, uh, well, this is just a quick video for regarding the Roco camera loco. Now, I had my Z21 linked to the ECOS and uh, what happened is I had to reset my router because I was having complications with the router so I actually, actually reset it and redo all the settings on it and that meant uh, the camera loco lost connection with the router and I couldn't, I couldn't get it back on again I could not log on to the uh, Roco camera loco at all I just lost everything so what I've done it took the iPad, disconnected it from the ECOS, the Z21, and the sniffer port, and connected it up as a standalone unit. This is if you've got the problem if you've lost the connection with the uh, locomotive. So, obviously, I've wired my system back up as a standalone Z21 system now on this piece of track, which is my test track. And there's a the loco. So what I'd advise to do is reset the loco to factory setting, address number three, and then whatever mode, wherever you're in, you go to related vehicles and settings. Now I was in client mode and I lost, I completely lost it, couldn't log on to it. So anyway, I created, created a new loco of address number three and then just went to configure loco video locomotive configure video locomotive there we go and just pick the mode you want to log back onto I was in client mode which means you you, you sort of logged onto the uh, permanently onto the uh, Z21 it automatically logs on all the time and host mode is, is when you can log on and off it's not a very st stable uh, connection that host mode you've got to keep entering a number underneath, underneath a locomotive uh, to log on to uh, a tablet etc so if you enter client mode which I was in then you just enter the SS ID of your wireless router and then enter the new password which I had to enter on here of your wireless router then go next and then it sends the information activate client mode and then it'll send the data and that'll take about 30 seconds and once it's done it it'll log back on it'll reconfigure itself um, which it has done now and I'll just log out of that go back into the power there we go log on to the video and there's a video It's just a bit of information so if you've lost connection of your locomotive and you cannot you don't know what to do put it on factory setting three address setting number three as it says in in the manual if you've got problems and uh, basically just reconfigure it that way using the z21 it's pretty easy enough to do what i say i'm going to put my system back onto the ecos now hopefully that'll be working fine no problems. Yeah, just another tip. Someone was asking me how do you connect the Z21 up to the ECOS, and it's dead easy. All you do, you take your track connection from the back where it goes to the main track. Well, I've just got it going in programming track at the moment but you plug obviously your output from your main track negative and positive you take two wires from that and you plug the power supply into the Z21 as normal and plug your um, data feed from the router if you want as well in there so just take your negative and positive from your main track 
from the Z21 and I've got a long cable going from there because my Z21 is miles away from the ECOS I've got a long cable going underneath all the way along here and it comes out around about here now all you do then you connect it to the sniffer port which is that connector there I'll just try and uh, get a better view of it actually I can just twist that around I'm not sure you can see hang on there we go those two wires going into that block there that block connector and it's the very last two wires on the left hand side of that block and you're looking at it from the oh sorry on the right hand side yeah I've actually unplugged everything and you can see that ke that um, connector there you can see S N H A S N H B that's a sniffer port your red wire has got to be on the right hand side which is B and your black wire goes to A so your Z21 power goes to the, those two inputs and then the Z21 can be linked to the ECOS and you can control, you know, as normal. You just log in, you log in the locomotives on the Z21 and it'll work. And you, you can have all sorts of different combinations set up. And I have that for controlling the video locos. So I've got the video screen on the Z21 and I control the locomotive on um, either the ECOS or the Z21. Or I can have a full screen with the points showing and have control on the Z21. There's all sorts of different combinations you can have. And if you go to page 20, sorry, page 14 of the ECOS manual, it actually shows you their diagram. Dead easy. So you say that's a Z21. You plug your transformer in, wire it up as as normal. Your Z21, and then just wire it up into the sniffer port there. And that's it. Someone was asking me about that, and, and it doesn't sound right. And it doesn't sound like safe. It sounds like it'll it'll blow, but it doesn't. As long as you wire it up like that, it, it should be fine. And that's it really, thanks, hope that helps someone, thanks for watching.